edition Friday of Teaching Crypto. This is AZ Crypto with Mr. FOMO, and we're hoping you guys love the content. Please, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Please share the screen. Of the, excuse me. Please share, please share our videos because we are getting closer to that 100 subs that we need to get for Mr. FOMO to get multi-access to more money to to put in the market so let, let's help them out let's help out the channel guys we'd love for you guys to uh spread the word as we say uh so we got fast flip friday today we got a special holiday edition so we're gonna we're gonna give you some things that you may or may not have heard of but we think are good picks and we'll talk about btc this is kind of it for btc if it wants to make a move in april time is running out and i'll still remain somewhat optimistic that we get one more pull up can't guarantee anything so hopefully this is this is a good time to flip. These might be a little more riskier, just a heads up, because I don't think I'd want to hold these in long times of downward BTC action. But we've got some good tips for you. And I'm going to start off with one origin trail. It's a crypto that a lot of people may not be aware of. Um, so Oregon Trail connects the most popular facets of the physical world, like commerce and art, to the digital world. So they're going to try to get into the metaverse in Web3. It is proof of work, which means you could actually, if you uh, got the equipment and the time, uh, possibly mine it. And what I like about it is the market cap is at 298 million, a little over 298 million. And we have circulation of only 500 million. The max supply is only 500 million, not bad. Now what's interesting to me is the 24 hour volume is low. You might say, well, isn't that bad? Well, it's been low during the downtrend of BTC the past four or five days. But if BTC picks up and you get volume has been under a million, the volume picks up, something that's under 300 million market cap can move fairly quickly. In fact, earlier this week, it's sitting at 59 cents right now. It was at almost 76 cents. And earlier this month, we were sitting at 94 cents. Um, All time high was $3.53. So again, I'm not predicting an all-time high but under 60 cents you're getting i think a good value for a flip here and if btc does have a good two weeks here to end the month um you're looking at a nice little game so i i like this one it would not be something i'd be comfortable holding long term so just be careful but some interesting tidbits about this token we found out that uh, they are trying to work with ethereum and polka dot so it's 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 an interesting one. Still, I think it's still a newer project that has a ways to go. But for a flip, I think it's worth it. Definitely. Yeah, I, I like it. I you know I like supply chain management companies. We've talked about V Chain on the channel before, and, and how how they can solve supply chain problems that exist in the world right now. Um, and so anybody that's trying to get into that, on top of that, they're into the metaverse. Um, so I think this is, if they, if they play their cards right and they they do their work, this could be an important play later on down the road. So, um, and especially at this price, I think, uh, I think it's a good pickup. And I also love the name. Um, the, the token is TRAC, but I love the play on the old Oregon trail game. Well, and I also like that they're in, uh, they're on Voyager. I believe I could be wrong. I think they're in Coinbase as well. I'll have to double check on that, but that that means volume could easily go up especially if you know they they be they become a riser or they they get they go up 10 percent in one day you'll see some volume easily go in um, because then people are not paying eth gas fees on the exchanges to buy this thing so i, I like it as a flip and, and it hasn't been one we've talked about before but it's a newer project uh it's interesting uh definitely one to keep an eye on for sure and nobody's going to get dysentery with this origin trail so that's good um <laughs> 
I am going to flip one that I, I thought I had flipped before. I think maybe I, I thought about flipping it and it kissed a really nice price today. It dropped down to $3.99 and I'm talking about Perpetual Protocol and the name Perpetual hints at what they do. They uh, offer um, leverage trading or I guess you know, spot trading on uh, a bunch of different coins, but there is no expiration date on these trades. Interesting. And so that's where they get their name, Perpetual Protocol. I'm sure that they're, you know, if you get uh, to a point where your percentage falls or the value falls, you would have to in inject some money or you would get liquidated. I I'm not sure exactly how that works, um, but at a price, it was earlier $399. It's up to 401 on Voyager. The spread is pretty, <laughs> pretty awful. It's about eight cents. So you pick it up at 409 mm -hmm. right now. Um, but it's still a good play in the last month. Excuse me. It got as high as 554. And so it could easily reclaim, um, you know, in the high fours up to $5 fairly quickly. And again, I like this because of the no expiration date. I think a lot of more people who, you know, play around in this market will end up migrating to protocols like Perpetual specifically because of that lack of an expiration date. Well, and, and earlier this month when things were going well, you had a, you had a price of $5.54. You also do have 5.9 million in 24 hour volume. Now the market cap is a bit higher at 602 million but not that much. And your circulating supply is sat at 150 million. So I like that call. Um, again, everything's predicated on BTC. These two, especially these tokens like this, they're not moving <laughs> contrary to the market. So just keep that in mind. We don't want to lie to you. Now, some people are still lying and saying, hey, we're going to 55K this month. Be great. But people are trying right to now we, just don't, we don't have, we just don't have the data to, to, to back that in it. Uh, again, we're going to keep calling this the friendly Yogi Bear market. <laughs> we don't we don't have the data to call for that but I, I i i'm hoping and feeling based on all the data in the past we still have a good end of april whether we can sustain that that's a gigantic question of all the things happening where we're not going to regurgitate all the stuff that's going on but again i think there um, is some some important news to to let yeah. viewers know about and I, and I think we we want to share some of that and i think there's some reasons to be fairly positive and fairly bullish about crypto moving forward especially definitely the, long term for sure and so we'll talk about some of those right now um and this is one that everybody is really talking about this week oh wow got a little <laughs> little advertisement there um, but uh, Akala and Anchor join forces to unite Terra and Polkadot. Now, Akala is the uh, group behind the, I believe it's AUSD on, that runs on the Polkadot network. It's a stable coin. And then Terra, of course, is behind the UST that we love so much. Um, but they are joining forces and that will provide liquidity to both of those ecosystems, connecting them both. It will increase the number of dApps that are using both of those um, stable coins. And so um, you're going to see some liquidity and some more dApps moving on to both of those networks. So I think that's positive for both of those companies. And then something that just came across the, the wire right before we started. Well, rolling. let's let, remember, guys, hold on to your Luna. Don't sell now. Just had to get that in. <laughs> it, and, and some of this, this came just across the wire as we came on, you pointed this out to me, is that uh, President Biden has tapped a former Ripple advisor as vice chair of the Fed. Law professor Michael Barr will be taking over at some point. And so this is incredibly bullish for crypto long term. Um, hopefully this guy, like, like you were saying before the show, hopefully this guy uh, takes his hands off of our, our rewards and our APY and and those things and, and ends all these lawsuits against these exchanges. Um, you know, hopefully this is a good sign for that kind of stuff. And, and we really think this is bullish long-term for crypto. Yeah, I mean, ho hopefully, I think the more people uh, realize what they should have for, versus what the banks have been giving them and they speak up, listen, money and uh, action spe speak. So if, if, if people speak up, I think it's it's going to make it harder and harder for the banks to take away these rewards. Um, and I just, again, I don't understand how you can tell someone they can't give someone something. <laughs> that's, 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 and you're saying you're protecting them, 
but if they make a certain amount of money, they're allowed to have it. So I I, I think it's all BS. I'm not going to get into it too much, but I, I think I think, I think crypto will win long term. I really do. But let's let's try to make sure that our voices are heard. So that's one of the reasons why you guys could spread the word on the show. I think it hurt. It helps crypto. It helps you know the shows like this. You know where we're 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 starting from scratch. We're giving you guys good info. And we're pushing good information. Uh, the more you guys can push us and shows like this, I think the better for the crypto community. Absolutely. Yeah. So we got some interesting flips, and uh, hopefully next time we talk, let's let's try to see if BTC is uh, back in the mid forties. Let's be optimistic. And, and, see and honestly, at these prices, I. I could I could rattle off probably 20 different projects that are great flips right now. We, earlier in the week, we talked about Algorand, which is a great project, even a great long term hold. Um, there's HBAR that, out there that's at a great price right now. And we saw a TikToker out there. We haven't checked this, but he's saying that you can get as much as 56 percent APY on, on a website. And we're going to do some research on that. Um, there's, I think that'd be a great uh, token review coming up. Yeah, there's so many tokens out there and coins out there right now that are so, at such tasty prices that really you could you could dip your toe in the market right now and, and and come up heads in a lot of different places. Yeah, and listen, if the flip doesn't work out because BTC retraces back to 38, 39, as long as you're patient, remember, eventually things will go in the direction of BTC going up. I mean, it's inevitable. It's only a matter of time, whether it's 2003, 2044, or later in 2022, Things will change. My perspective is I love the year 2024 and I'm not, but I'm, I'm not giving up on 2023 or 2022 yet either. But I'm just saying at 2024 and the next halving, I, I, I think you're going to see some great movement, some outstanding movement. So if you're able to hold for a year and a half, you're not going to be worried about getting in now and not making a ton in the next few months. So that's my perspective. Yep. Have a look. Yeah. And yeah, guys, remember, you rather buy now than in 2024. It's not always what you buy, it's when you buy it. For AZ, for, excuse me, for Mr. FOMO, this is AZ Crypto. Have an excellent weekend, everybody. See you.